to real quick tips. I have good news. You can actually designate a custodian. If you're trying to find out how to actually maybe add on a family member or an employee you want to hire, or an independent contractor, or just a, another person, it could be boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, just a teammate. So I understand, especially as you grow this troll business, you might not you be in a, you might be in a situation where you might have to add people on because you'll start realizing that you need manpower. You need additional people to keep it growing to sustain. It. If you want to grow, if you want to stay the same, then you might not need this additional help. But oftentimes, to, to work more efficiently and grow it at a more efficient manner you actually will have to probably bring on some type of manpower or additional teammates. It could be a brother, sister, cousin, family member, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, it doesn't matter who it is. Um, just make sure you add them on as a custodian. I left an article below on how to do that and this is actually the actual article. And it's quite simple and that's about it. That's a lame, true, quick tip for y'all. Uh, as it states right here, if you want to, uh, someone you trust to help manage your listings, you can sign them as a custodian for your vehicles. Custodians must have their own Turo account with a unique phone number, email address, and driver's license number attached to it. To add a custodian, send customer support a statement of authorization with the customer custodian's full name, phone number, and Turo email address. Let us know if the custodian is temporary, and if so, for how long. It's the responsibility of you and your custodian to coordinate with one another to fulfill all requirements of Turo host. Custodians don't have access to vehicle and booking information. You must communicate with them about trips, vehicle status, maintenance, and other issues. Either you or your custodian must be present for in-person key handoffs. You are solely responsible for any trip or vehicle-related problems that may arise. So if you're going to allow this, there are tourists that are allowing their family members to meet uh, guests on their behalf. The problem is they're not custodians. You can't do that. That's violating the policy. You have to notify tourists and add them on in whatever way you can. So that if something happens, you're covered. You don't want to avoid your coverage, people. Anyways, love you guys. Like, subscribe, share. Follow me on Instagram, Carl at Lane. Uh, welcome to Lane Trail Quick Tips. That's how you designate a custodian. Carl Lane out.